The world's a dangerous place. Get the industry's original and most trusted laser sighting system from Crimson Trace. A laser and light systems will enhance your effectiveness and help keep you and your family out of harm's way. Broadcasting nationwide, this is Tom Gresham's Gun Talk. Your views, advice, and questions are the driving force of gun talk. Call Tom now at 866-TALK-GUN. That's one Tom Talk Gun. Or reach out to us via email at tom at guntalk.com. Let us know what you think about the gun-related issues of the day. Now, here's Tom Gresham. They cannot make me stop. I am going to keep talking about guns just as long as I possibly can. Hey, welcome again. I'm Tom Gresham. (laughs) This is Gun Talk. Yes, yes, yes. Gun Talk. We talk about guns and shooting and Second Amendment. Sure, we'll talk about gun rights. New guns, old guns, guns your granddaddy left you. If you're wondering about which gun to buy, we'll talk about that. If you're concerned about how do I store a gun safely, we'll talk about that. As I say, we're the good guys and gals. We're the ones who use, own guns responsibly. If you'd like to get on board here, 866-TALK-GUN, 866-825-5486. We're giving away a gun. Cool deal. Uh, all you got to do is go to guntalk.com slash win. It's a giveaway. Uh, this month, we're giving away a Springfield Armory XD Model 2. It's the Mod 2. Very cool. 3.3 inch. 45 ACP. Yep, 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 yep. They finally got it out in the 45. And you get your choice of either a bitone or a black one. You can go to Springfield Armory. Take a look at their website on that. Also, we're giving away every week. That's going to be at the end of the month, the big prize. And every week, we're going to be giving away range bag, and some other stuff. You can all see it at the website, guntalk.com slash win. Yes, of course, it's free to enter for a chance to win that. Let's talk gun rights, state organizations. I am... Very high on state organizations. That's where so much of the work is being done. Not just fighting on the local level, but also, frankly, truly educating some state legislators who end up becoming, often, your senators and congress folks. And joining me right now, uh, my friend Jeff Pittman. He's the vice president of the Mississippi State Firearms Owners Association. Hello, Jeff. How are you? Hi, Tom. I'm well. How about yourself? Excellent. Now... I want to recommend you, of course, we'll talk about uh, Mississippi State Firearms Owners Association, but you put out one of the neatest newsletters, the 2A News, Second Amendment News, and it's simply 2anews.net.net, and it's a a weekly newsletter, right? That's correct. I call it approximately weekly because I run on my own schedule, and and it's usually (laughs) on Fridays, but uh, sometimes I miss a week. There you go. I know the feeling, but it is uh, a collection of great stories, of information, of news. I'm mean, I'm looking at one of them on your website now under the Department of Idiocy. A uh, man says he didn't know gun would fire when trigger pulled. There's just no accounting for some of this stuff, is there? That's correct, and I, maybe one of the things you like about it is that I throw in my own adjectives about uh, describing some of this stuff, and you kind of get some news <laughs> and some commentary. <laughs> There you go. Not just the news, but you get what what Jeff thinks about it, too, while you're at it. That's exactly right. Now, there are people who, and by the way, we we wanted to get you in here because we're kind of celebrating some of our new stations that are uh, running Gun Talk. And now in Hattiesburg, we've got WXMI 98.1 FM. Uh, A lot of people are going to think, well, Mississippi has absolutely no issues uh, maintaining and preserving gun rights. Certainly there's nobody in Mississippi or in the legislature there who would ever want to infringe upon your rights. Am I correct? Well, no. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) No, no, of course not. (laughs) But I I would say that people who have that opinion, uh, there's a grain of truth there. You know, we're in the deep south, and and we're all a bunch of rednecks with guns, and some of us are educated, but uh, we don't fight the same battles that that they largely do, you know, in the more metropolitan northern and western areas. Mm Mm-hmm. So uh, we, we're kind of blessed in that area, but we do have the, the, the anti still are still active down here. Well, that's what I was going to have you talk about, is that even when you're in a quote-unquote good state for gun rights, and Mississippi would probably be thought of as one of those. And oh, by the way, for those who are you're thinking, you have a bunch of rednecks. Yeah, some of those rednecks are your doctors, your lawyers, uh, and your astronauts. But uh, you never know who's going to show up and be in a redneck. But even though it's a generally a good state for gun rights— Give us an idea of the kind of things you still have to push back in the legislature. 
Well, you know, we have every year uh, a number of bills that get filed in the legislature and a no- number of actions that are taken or attempted to be taken by various government agencies that are mirrors of what's happening all over the country. And and that's by design, I think, largely. You know, you'll have a, uh, an anti-rights uh, group that will come in and have some model legislation that they'll introduce in every state. And uh, just like we have some pro-gun bills that, that, you know, the NRA pushes in every state, we'll have some anti-gun mm-hmm. bills that the, that the antis are pushing. So we'll have the same uh, bills that, that Massachusetts or California or somebody will have uh, on some cases. For instance, this year mm-hmm. we uh, had a bill that would have required a serial number on every ammunition cartridge uh, possessed or sold in the state. Which, and of course, is insane because there's, there's, you know, there's we, no we way to do that. And, yeah, even the silly ones. But that is one that's, as you say, it's identical to what's being introduced in other states. And the gun banners can always find some legislator to introduce this kind of stuff. Oh, yeah, we, we have some legislators who are anti-gun. You know, they're gun banners, too. We, we don't have probably as mm-hmm. many as, as some other places do, but, but it doesn't take very many. Well, that's exactly right. Give us a rundown of what uh, the concealed carry laws are in Mississippi. Well, they're, they're in flux here, uh, but generally speaking, uh, the state laws here are that uh, on, the, on the front end, it's, it's illegal to carry a firearm out in public, unless. And the big unless is if you have a state concealed carry permit, which is a shall issue, and we have mm-hmm. two tiers of permits, I will call them. We have the regular permit and the enhanced permit. And the only difference between the two permits is with the enhanced, you have to get some additional or some training. The the regular permit does not require any training. The enhanced Uh permit is if you qualify with some training, you get the enhancement on your permit. And then the difference in the permits is with the enhanced, you can carry additional places that you could not carry with the regular permit. And so uh, we have that. We have uh, the ability to carry on your own property or in your vehicle without a permit. Mm -hmm. And uh, we also now have open carry. And that's still, there's still a lot of argument and finger pointing going on about what exactly is legal under open carry, but we do have it. Hmm. Okay. And the open carry is without Uh, a permit. Ah, okay. Good deal. And how about uh, carrying in your vehicle without a uh, permit? Yes, if you're, I think you have to be 18, but uh, you can carry in a vehicle without a permit of any sort, whether or not the gun is concealed, and that's assuming that, you know, you're not a felon or something anyway, and that's also uh, generally assuming that your vehicle is not on federal property or somewhere like that. Well, there's there's always that, because there are some places that you can't have a gun, and that's, you know, that's a different factor altogether. So what are the challenges you're facing right now in Mississippi? Well, uh, we're right now in the middle of our legislative session. Our legislature meets every spring, generally from January through the end of March or thereabouts, and it's part-time, you know, it's one-fourth of the year each year. And this year we had, uh, I counted, 40 bills that were filed relating to guns of some sort, and this was generally not including hunting and things like that, but just just gun bills generally. And Mm -hmm. of those 40, 11 of them, I believe, are still alive that did not initially die in the first committee that went to. Uh, The the ones that are still alive, well, let me me just mention a couple of the high points. Mm -hmm. One that died was a knife preemption bill, which you'll be familiar with. Sure, we were made, trying to uh, get that one done for knife rights, yeah. That right. Would you know, it, would have, it would have made it illegal for local governments to legislate against knives uh, under state law. Mm-hmm. Uh, they couldn't do that on their own. And we have gun preemption here, but we don't have knife preemption. So that one has not made it out of the legislature yet. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that's one that died that I was interested in. Uh, we had a bill that, uh, another bill that died that would have exempted some records with our Department of Wildlife uh, related to hunting licenses, and it would have exempted them from public records review so that any anti-gunner or anti-hunter or criminal couldn't go down to the Department of Wildlife and get a list of all the hunting license holders. holders. Right. And that one has also died. Hmm. Uh, We did have some that are still alive. We we had a bunch of bills that would have, by various means, reduced fees for our uh, concealed carry licenses. 
and a couple of those are still alive, and, and a lot of them died. Uh, we also had a bunch of bills that would have relaxed uh, requirements on getting the per- the training for the permits for mm-hmm. people like veterans and active duty uh, military and I think retired law enforcement and so forth. There were several bills that would have said that you don't have to go get additional training. You know, by ah, virtue okay. of your your qualifications, you're already qualified. Right. And some of those are still Thanks. alive. Okay. Uh, Jeff, uh, listen, I've got a scoot here uh, for people who are in Mississippi, they want to get involved, they want to become a a member of the state organization, how do they do that? Well, you need to come to our meeting. We're having our annual uh, Mississippi State Firearm Owners Association meeting this month. We're the only statewide NRA affiliate, and we're meeting on February the 28th at 1 o'clock in the afternoon at Bass Pro Shops in Pearl, Mississippi. We'll be in the restaurant downstairs. So come meet with us and sign up, and, and we'll tell you everything you need to know. All righty. Thanks, Jeff. I appreciate that. All right. Got a scoop. 866-TALK-GUN. We'll be right back with more. Every day, law enforcement agencies worldwide put their trust in the HSD bullet from Federal Premium Ammunition. Built to protect our streets and defend our freedoms, HST and its iconic mushroom provide reliable and consistent performance. That same technology is now available for your personal defense needs when protecting your home and defending your family. Personal Defense HST. Proven, trusted performance. Federal premium ammunition. Every shot counts. Are you looking for a place to shoot? The National Shooting Sports Foundation has a great website called wheretoshoot.org. It's the largest database of shooting ranges on the Internet. It's also a great resource for shooters where you can find video tips, printable targets, and a lot more. Find it online at wheretoshoot.org. And while you're there, download their free iPhone app. That's wheretoshoot.org. For 36 years, the U.S. Sportsmen's Alliance has been fighting to protect hunting, fishing, and trapping for sportsmen from coast to coast. Today, we are under constant attack from extremist animal rights groups who want to end your ability to hunt in the U.S. Join us to protect our sporting heritage and our way of life outdoors. To join or for more information on how you can help, go to ussportsmen.org. That's ussportsmen.org. Bodyguards carry more comfortably, walk more confidently. When it comes to personal protection, nothing beats a bodyguard. Choose the lightweight, compact, and concealable Bodyguard 380 pistol or the Bodyguard 38 revolver, both with a built in laser sight. The Smith & Wesson Bodyguards carry more comfortably, walk more confidently. All right, back with you. 866-TALK-GUN gets you in your open lines. If you want to join us, just give us a shout right now. We can make that happen for you. Uh, let's see. I've got to, 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 let's go to line one. Jeff is in LaGrand, Oregon, because he's talking about something that I like to talk about. Hey, Jeff, how are you? Good, Tom. Hey, it's great to be on your show. The only problem is you're on once a week instead of once a day. Yeah. <laughs> I hear you, but that's okay. We, You know what? We can just talk about guns amongst ourselves through the other six days. Oh, absolutely, yeah. <laughs> um, okay. About, what, a month ago, at a, about a month ago at a gun show, I picked up a Model 722 Remington mm-hmm. in uh, mm-hmm. 257 Roberts. Sweet. And I've had a lot of 721s and some 722s, but never a 257 Roberts. And I've, okay. I've always liked the caliber, but what I'm trying to find out, and I, I can't find anything written on it in my old gun digest or anything, it's got a 22-inch barrel that appears to be factory. It's still got the factory iron sights. The crown looks uh, identical to other 721s and 22s I've had, but... The other 722s that I had in other calibers were 24-inch barrels, and I wondered if Remington had ever manufactured that rifle in a 22-inch barrel. 
or if somebody uh, actually, has cut I, this off and no no it, it's a factory barrel i think all of them were 22 uh, let me ask you, the other 721, 722s you have, are those by any chance uh, Magnum calibers with the 24-inch barrel? I, I, no. My, I've got a 300 H&H in a 721 that's 26-inch barrel. The 6s mm-hmm. and 270s are all 24-inch. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is a factory 22-inch barrel. Uh, okay. I, I, look, I look back, and I'm... Fairly certain that was the case. I think that's how they made them. Now I got to ask you, since you probably know that the 257 Roberts is one of my favorite calibers. It was actually the first centerfire rifle I ever fired, and I still have that rifle. By the way, it belonged to my mother. Uh, so why? What motivated you to get a Roberts? Been looking for a nice one for years, <clears throat> but I mm-hmm. it had to be a 722. I that's. 21s and 22s are my favorite bolt action rifles. Other than I love Mark V Weatherby's too, but <clears throat> these rifles are in this condition are hard to find. I've seen them all beat up. This rifle is in excellent condition, and so when I saw it at the gun show, I just had to make a deal on it. So that's great. Now, are you planning to shoot it, or are you just use it as a collector? Oh no, I I'm, I shoot everything I've got. And okay. I'm kind of be, being from Oregon, I'll probably load a Nosler bullet. So there you go. And Nosler has some good ones. I tell you what, the the kind of sleeper. And, and as much as I love partitions, the Nosler 110 grain AccuPoint is. Uh, uh-huh. um, I think it's the bonded AccuPoint. It is a great bullet. Yeah, yeah, it's a 110 so a grain AccuPoint. Yeah. Acubine, that's the one I'm looking for. Yeah, Acubine, thank you. Yeah, I would go with that one. That's a great, great bullet. Shoots really accurately, and it's built really well for hunting. I would hunt, honestly, I'd hunt anything up to it, including elk with that, without a problem. Just put it in the right place, and it does the job. Jeff, listen, I think you got you a good one. I appreciate the call. I do want to talk to Robert. He's on line four out of North Dakota. Hello, Robert. What do you have there? Hi, Tom. I just got a couple of questions for you real quick. I got a Bushmaster uh, M4, the AR platform, chambered in 223 or 556. I'm looking for a mm-hmm. good quality, affordable suppressor for it. Who would you recommend? And the second question is, what can you tell me about the 383 Lupa uh, in regards to quality, uh, pricing, and any ballistic information you may have from, oh, roughly 300 out to 700 yards? You said the 383. Did you mean the 338? Or the 338, Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, 338. Oh, okay. Uh, well, first of all, suppressors, I don't really have much of a preference. Um, the thing is, we have today so many more people making suppressors than just five years ago. Um, for instance, SIG just got into the suppressor business a year or two ago, making a lot of really high-quality suppressors. Obviously, Gemtex, uh, Silencer Co., a bunch of others out there. Uh, and I'm not, I will just you know tell you, I have some of them, but I am not a suppressor expert. My, my take on it is just find one you like at a price you like and buy it. Go through Because it's going to be, you know, it's about a six-month process to go through anyway to get the federal paperwork done. Uh, I had a question for you before we get to the uh, 338. Are you going to go with individual or are you going to do a trust or something for your uh, NFA stuff? Oh, that's expensive, huh? Well, no, I mean, the thing is, there's a reason. I take it you don't have a suppressor at this point, right? Oh, oh, I thought you were talking about the Lupa. No, no, I don't, no. The, uh, no, the, um, it's, uh, uh, the, if you go with a trust, you do not, at least currently, have to get the okay of the local law enforcement, chief law enforcement officer uh, if you don't have a trust, some places the sh- local sheriff will not okay it. And if he won't, then you can't buy it because he's got to have that signature. But if you'll form a trust that owns your NFA, National Firearms Act, items, suppressors, short barrel rifles, that type of thing, then the trust owns them. Here's one of the benefits of having a trust. You can have several people in a trust. If you own it individually and you pass on, if you die then what happens to them? But if you are, if they're in a trust and you die, doesn't matter. You don't own them anyway. The trust does, and it could be your uh, your son, your daughter, your wife is in there, and they still own it because the trust actually owns it. So I would s- strongly suggest you look into getting a trust 
put together so when you buy a suppressor or anything else, you put into the trust? Okay, I'll do that. And I'm on real good standings with our law enforcement up here where I live, so that'll work. Okay, that may not be a problem. Now, 338, let's talk real quickly about that. If you're shooting out to about 700 yards, frankly, you don't need it. Uh, this is a rifle for going long, way out beyond uh, 308 and 300 Magnum. You're talking 1,000 plus yards. It's big, it's heavy. The ammo is anywhere from three to five dollars every time you pull the trigger. Uh, everything's, I mean, it's great. It's a great cartridge, but just understand. And just as far as the ballistics, all you got to do is just you know Google it up, as they say, and you can get all the stats you need on the three thirty eight. It's a stunning cartridge, but it is a serious thousand, twelve hundred, fifteen hundred yard rifle, and. Honestly, unless you just want to have one, uh, you don't need it for shooting out to 700 yards. At least my take on it. I wish you luck with it, Robert. Thank you for the call. All right, 866 Talk Gun gets you in here. Long range shooting. Had a nice conversation with a friend that does some work with the guys over at FTW Ranch um, there in Texas. If you're looking for a, a cool, fun thing to do, uh, Go to FTW or go to Gunsight or someplace and take a long-range shooting class. Usually it's going to be, if it's a serious class, it's going to be two or three days. And they'll get you dialed in, and you can bring your own gun. Generally, it's better if you have a you know pretty good optic uh, scope on it. With mill dot, that's adjustable, all of that. But a good trainer, whereas you may be hitting targets at 300 yards, a good trainer can have you moving out to four, five, six hundred, seven hundred 700 yards and hitting reliably. It's amazing what you can learn from a school like these. So I would suggest you do that. Oh, by the way, somebody asked about this product that you can get at Tractor Supply. Somebody wrote in and said, Fluid Film. Okay, that was the name. I had forgotten it. Fluid Film. He says it's also at O'Reilly's Arts Place. So if that's what you're looking for, that's the name of it. Fluid Film. All right, 866-TALK-GUN. When we come back, let's talk about Smith & Wesson and the new stuff that they have. They have been busy. We'll be right back. Tom Gresham's Gun Talk is broadcast nationwide every Sunday. If you can't hear Gun Talk where you live, call your local talk format station and clue them in on Gun Talk. Stay tuned. We're coming right back. Now broadcasting nationwide on radio, via satellite, and through downloads, iTunes, the Gun Talk app, and other podcast clients. You're listening to Gun Talk with Tom Gresham. All right, back with you. Tom Gresham, 866-825-5486. Just out one Tom Talk gun. That'll get you in here also. Let's see, we have uh, new DVDs. The uh, First Person Defender Season 1 is available right now on DVD. Also, Conceal Carry 2, they're running. Uh, that's brand new. Just just got that one out, Conceal Carry 2. I'm real proud of that one. That worked out very well. Let's see. There's a, uh, a combo pack. You can get a $5 discount or a $10 discount on a three-pack. All you got to do is go to Gun Talk, uh, shopguntalk.com. That's shopguntalk.com. That gets you in there. If you're not getting, well, let me back up. If you want to be informed on guns, gun rights, gun stories, and you're not sure how to go about it, it's really, really easy. I do a feed all the time uh, off of Twitter. You go to Twitter. I am at Gun Talk. If you're unfamiliar with Twitter, just put in the at symbol and Gun Talk. You'll find me. And I put out all these stories. Basically, what I do is I scour the internet with all these stories. They could be self-defense, gun uses, um, crazy anti-gun claims. Let's see, here's a, we've got a, a new bill filed in the United States Congress to limit federally, limit magazine capacity. I love this quote. When a story out of Colorado, quote, Democrats have vowed to quickly defeat other pro-gun legislation. Well, At least they're up front about the whole deal. They just say, okay, we're going to defeat any pro-gun legislation. And they dare you to do anything about it. Okay. Well, anyway, what I'm saying is that you can get involved. You can follow me on Twitter, and you'll get a news feed. You'll find out what's going on in the news and the gun world. 
uh, whether it's new ammo, new guns, new scopes, or gun rights or self-defense uses, it's all there. So anyway, that's, that's just a way for you to stay in tune with what's happening. Also, if I haven't mentioned it, if you haven't heard, we, you know, three, was it three years ago, four years ago, we had the GT-10, the first gun talk commemorative gun. It was a, a 10 millimeter 1911. And we just announced at SHOT Show the new GT-20. And this one commemorates 20 years of gun talk on the air. It's a, a SIG P220 in 10 millimeter. To see it, to read about it, I don't need to tell you all about it. If you have an interest in it, go to duriesguns.com, D-U-R-Y-S, duriesguns.com. Yes, Jim, contain yourself. Uh, (laughs) It's cool. Jim's seen it. Uh, We'll talk about that during the after show. Uh, Right now, joining me right now is a a good friend of ours, Matt Rice from Smith & Wesson. Hey, Matt, how you doing? I'm doing good, Tom. How are you doing this afternoon? Excellent. I hope we have uh, run you down where you're doing something fun, maybe catching a fish or doing something out there. Well, you know, we actually had some warm weather, unlike our friends up in the Springfield area this weekend, and we actually tied a record high in Oklahoma of 76 degrees. So you you got me. I had to be outside there for a little bit, so I do apologize for running a little late on it. (laughs) That's okay. I figured if anybody's out fishing, it's going to be you, man. Well, you know us uh, here, man. Any time that the uh, warm is, the weather's warm and the fish are biting, uh, we've got to be outside doing something. That's it. You're going to be fishing or shooting or hunting or doing something outside. Well, uh, at, at Shot Show this year, one of the, well, the reason, let me back up. The, the reason that we're talking about to Smith and Weston is because we're kind of doing a whole show today talking about Massachusetts because a lot of people don't know how much guns are. Related to Massachusetts, are embedded in Massachusetts. That's really where a lot of the original gun factories you know, started. And Smith & Wesson, of course, is, is right there in Springfield, Mass. And it's huge company. Been there for, seems like, forever. And so I wanted you to come in and kind of give us an update of all the new stuff that Smith & Wesson is up to. Because you had a lot of new things to introduce at SHOT Show. Yeah, you're correct, Tom. Uh, Things are always uh, going at a fast pace up there in what we always call the uh, Gun Valley area of the New England part of the 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 world. Um, So everything at Smith & Wesson is, of course, going uh, full bore. And then once you uh, couple that with the integration of Thompson Center, which uh, we've been producing Thompson Center guns at the Springfield plant for the last, about going on about five or six years now, uh, things are always going at a fever pitch. But SHOT Show is always an exciting time for us. We were able to... uh, Introduce some line extensions to our uh, very popular M&P pistol series, some different color variations, threaded barrel kits, a lot of things that we knew that consumers were looking for and had asked us about previously, uh, we were able to make that available for them this year. So we're always excited. But uh, as you pointed out, uh, especially when you couple all the manufacturers that are up here in the New England area, uh, there's, there's definitely a lot of jobs that uh, these companies are being able to be associated with. And definitely companies like Smith & Wesson, um, we rely on that local knowledge and skill uh, to help fill out a lot of multiple positions within the company. So um, it's, it's, a good, it's a good time to be in our industry, as you know, and it's uh, always a good time to be uh, well appreciated in the area where you're, where you're founded. No kidding. Now, I'm looking on the, the Smith & Wesson website, for those that want to look along at smith-wesson.com, and one of the things that we're seeing is more and more production coming out of the Performance Center, which are, these are like the uber cool guns that these guys dream up back in the skunk works back there. Yeah, the Performance Center is an amazing facility that's actually located inside of Smith & Wesson. So for several years when they first started, um, it was really brought about to help uh, accentuate what our pro team was doing. Now, we have a great pro team line that Smith & Wesson has been working with on our shooting team, and the Performance Center really came about as a way to help those uh, athletes uh, get the fine tuned machines that they need. Since then, it's really taken on a life of its own, and it, it, we produce all sorts of firearms from the Performance Center, competition-based, hunting-based, uh, target-based. So uh, these master gunsmiths, as we like to call them, uh, have 10 years up to 30 years that they've been doing this. And that kind of goes back to the, the point I made earlier about pulling those local resources. But these guys are exceptionally mm-hmm. crafted, and they can truly make a one-of-a-kind firearm for anybody. And uh, I know locally right there, I've been on the floor it is not easy for somebody to move from the floor where they're making standard Smith & Wesson and doing a good job, but they have to test in to be able to work in the performance center, and it's a very coveted position. 
It is. It definitely is. Uh, and, and a lot of that comes, I think, to the responsibility and the notoriety that comes along with the Performance Center. Um, you know, it's really a high-end custom shop inside a manufacturing plant that, uh, as you will, and I'm sure you've got a couple in your safe, they're just absolutely gorgeous firearms that uh, have all been hand-fitted, hand-lapped, uh, tuned action jobs, and these people that work there take a lot of pride in their work, and you can tell that anytime you hold a Performance Center firearm. We had a couple of the 1911s uh, from the Performance Center here last year. And, you know, we, we get them in, we do the TV with them, and we send everything back. And those two, they sat there, and we'd pick them up and say, we've got to send these back. And then you pick them up, take them out of the case, and you work the slide, and you go, maybe later. Maybe, you know, yeah. maybe later. <laughs> it's just going, holy cow, those things are just so sweet. They're really unbelievable. They're, they're so good. Hey, Mac, let me get you to hold on just a second. I'm going to take a quick break. We'll come back. We'll talk about some of the other cool stuff that's going on at Smith & Wesson. We're talking with Matt Rice from Smith & Wesson. If you'd like to join the conversation, 866-TALK-GUN. Get you in here. Be right back. You already know Liberty Safes are great values. Now they're offering an even sweeter deal for Gun Talk listeners. At LibertySafe.com, click on the Fat Boy Safe and type in TOM. Liberty will give you up to $250 off your purchase. Protect the things you value most. LibertySafe.com, click the Fat Boy Safe, promo code TOM, save up to $250. That's LibertySafe.com. LibertySafe.com. Hi, I'm Tom Gresham. For more than 40 years, I've been watching an environmental disaster in my backyard, and it actually impacts all sportsmen in America. I'm talking about the massive loss of land on the Louisiana coastline. The U.S. Geological Survey said the swamps and marshes of coastal Louisiana are among the nation's most fragile and valuable wetlands. That land is disappearing. The Mississippi River Delta hosts as many as 10 million ducks and geese every winter. These are birds which migrate northward through the states, all the way to Canada. The wetlands of the Delta support some of America's best fresh and saltwater fishing. And here's the deal. The wetlands of the Mississippi River Delta are disappearing at a rate of one football field every hour. One football field every hour. Gone. We can reconnect the river with its wetlands and restore the Delta, but we need your help. Please visit VanishingParadise.org. That's VanishingParadise.org. Inaccurate is just plain worthless. It doesn't matter if you're shooting for a national championship or just trying to beat your friend. You need accurate ammo. Nosler's Match Grade Handgun Ammunition delivers. You get Nosler Sporting Handgun and Custom Competition Bullets in Nosler Head Stamped Brass, loaded to the same strict tolerances as Nosler's Match Grade Rifle Ammo. Handgun accuracy through Match Grade Ammo. Available in 9mm, 40, and 45. Visit Nosler.com. Okay, we're just talking cool guns right now. Tom Gresham here. We're talking with Matt Rice from Smith & Wesson. And Matt, I, I should not do this. During the break, I'm over on the Smith & Wesson website. And I'm going, oh, I didn't know you guys had that. Oh, I didn't know you had that. And I'm going, this is just outrageously cool stuff. Yeah, there, there's a lot of good things uh, on the Smith & Wesson website. Uh, it's so good, in fact, that I had to take the catalogs that I usually store in the uh, uh, my restroom in the, in the private uh, area and just had to take them out of there. It was getting too expensive going through there. And, uh, uh, yeah, if you get on .com, um, you can pretty much tailor anything you're looking for and find something that we're making for it. One of the guns that I get a lot of questions about uh, is the bodyguard, and that thing has just caught fire, hasn't it? It really has. Uh, you know, we have both the bodyguard 380 semi-automatic pistol and the bodyguard 38 revolver. Uh, both of these took a very big, uh, not only a and a marketing approach step, but the technology behind these guns uh, that we've integrated uh, is really something neat. This is something the Smith & Wesson uh, hasn't done before. You know, such little things as when you look at the 38 cylinder, it actually revolves clockwise compared to counterclockwise, which all these, you know, true Smith & Wesson revolver uh, enthusiasts know about. But uh, these two guns, coupled with our now partnership with Crimson Trace, 
uh, offering consumers a lightweight, concealable, uh, small, compact firearm, whether you prefer the semi-automatic pistol or the revolver, uh, these two guns have just been very well received in the marketplace. Yeah, I mean, they come out of the box with the Crimson Trace laser ready to go. Just uh, double-check it, make sure it's sighted in, and, and go shoot them. It's a re- and for those who are wondering, yes, a three eighty is a viable self-defense round these days with the excellent ammo we have. That's just not an issue anymore. The the other one I was going to talk about for a second is the M&P core and the fact that people are looking for red dots. And I, I talked earlier about, and you've, I have seen you at the range so many times. You have taught so many people to shoot. And when you drop a red dot on a pistol, it eliminates the whole front sight, rear sight deal. They just put the dot on it and let her rip. Yeah, it really simplifies things, Tom. Anytime you can add a holographic sight, a red dot, uh, anything for that first-time shooter or somebody who would be a little more visually uh, impaired and, and can't always focus on the front and rear sights. Because, as you know, that, that's, that's a hard thing for a lot of people to uh, pick up and feel confident in with the first time shooting. But with the evolution of the MMP Pro Series pistol and the core lineup, uh, being able to add a red dot of your choice with actually – not having to do any custom gunsmithing to the gun. Mm-hmm. Uh, Binding brackets come with a gun. You simply remove a spacer, if you will, on top of the slide, find the corresponding plate, put on your red dot, two set screws, and you're ready to go to the range. It really is a matter of minutes to install one of those. And as you pointed out, uh, being able to work with somebody, uh, I love them. Uh, the pros love them. They're quick. They're easy to use. Uh, and the nice thing that for traditionalists and people that want to still be able to use their iron sights, the Smith & Wesson core models have a higher front and rear sight. So on a lot of these dots, you can get a true co-witness, which is a, uh, something very nice to have as well when you're, when you're learning or just out there having fun. Sure. You know, and, and people are wondering, yes, you can use this with your loophole delta point. You can use it with your RMR. You can use it with, you know, you've got plates for all of these different ones. So it's, it's really a versatile system. I think right now we accommodate uh, up to six different manufacturers, and there's a several more that will actually fit that we don't have in the pamphlet that comes with the gun that shows you. But, yeah, you named them from Trigicon to Leupold to EOTech. Uh, there are several manufacturers that are making those uh, high-quality, very durable red dots. And, uh, you know, this year at the, at the Smith & Wesson Performance Center, uh, they introduced their own variation of the core model with a ported version uh, you probably have uh, seen Jerry talk yes. about it. He wanted, wanted a comp, and, comp gun, and he got it from the Performance Center. Boy, is that thing especially nice. And uh, let those guys run even faster than they, than they normally go, which is quite amazing. All right, one other thing I want to talk about before we run out of time here, and that's one that I've been carrying for quite a while. It's a sleeper, I think, that Smith doesn't talk about a lot. Is they've got a 1911 carry gun, commander style, in scandium, which is a lightweight aluminum alloy with scandium element in it. And it is like the coolest 1911 ever for just straight up carry. <laughs> I actually have one of those guns you're referring to, Tom, and I, and I agree. I like it. I'm a big 1911 guy for some reason every time i open my safes 1911s and uh, ar rifles seem to just multiply and they're on their own i don't know what's going on but <laughs> I, I love you have good taste that's what it is yeah <laughs> you you know what's good stuff that's what that's what that's all about well but, uh, you know <clears throat> i just want to say matt I, the problem the problem is we we can't cover everything that you've got right now so i, I guess we just drive them to the website Please do. Yeah, jump on the Smith & Wesson website, and on your, when you're on there, uh, don't forget to scroll down and find out about all the manufacturing items that we're making from Thompson Center. So maybe you've already uh, purchased your last AR for this year, and now you're looking for get ready for uh, muzzleloading season coming up in the fall. And, uh, go to Thompson Center website and bolt actions. I don't need to go on any further. Lots of Very different good. choices and lots of great it's options. It's all there. Smith-Wesson.com. It's Smith-Wesson.com. Matt, thank you so much. I appreciate that. All right. You give me a holler, we'll get you all in right now. And also, if you call us right now, we can get you into the after show. Glad to get the after show back. If you haven't partaken of that, it's not broadcast. That's because no one would dare put it on the air. It's just us making noise and having a good time. 866-TALK-GUN. I'm Tom Gresham. And this, guess what, is Gun Talk. Join the NRA via Tom Gresham's Gun Talk website and receive $10 off the regular membership price. Log on to guntalk.com for details. You're listening to Tom Gresham's Gun Talk. Just 
because we're wrapping up on the air doesn't mean we're done talking about guns. Stick around for the after show. It's our podcast only version designed to include all the stuff we simply couldn't fit into a regular show. Call in now at one Tom Talk Gun. Now back to Tom. Well, what do they say? If uh, if you're not paranoid, you don't fully understand the situation, or it's not paranoia if they really are out to get you. Just uh, saw this news story came across. A lot of the new TVs have all sorts of cool features, and you can speak to your TV and change channels and things like that. And Samsung now has a warning with its TVs. Please be aware that if your spoken words include personal or other sensitive information, that information will be among the data captured and transmitted to a third party. Your TV can snoop on you if it has these features and it's connected to the Internet. Just a little heads up. Okay? Line two, Jim's with us in Elwood, Nebraska. Jim, how you doing? Just fine, thank you. Uh, Trigicon, I have one of Mm -hmm. the original reflex sites. I was thinking about an RMR. The catalog Mm -hmm. that I was looking at has two uh, one is a dual uh, illumination, and the other is mm-hmm. battery powered. Do you know right. if the battery powered RMR also has a tritium uh, dot? No, only the dual illuminated one does. Uh, the battery powered one does not have uh, the tritium inside. The dual powered one has battery and tritium. Uh, that's my understanding. I, I'm sure if you check the website, it would have a better explanation, but that is my uh, layman understanding of the two. Uh, could I comment on the man's uh, 375 h and H? You bet. Uh, I have one. When I ordered mine, I had them put in a mercury recoil tube, just like ah, the shotgun. Yes, in the, in the stock. Yes. Works great. Great I, idea. Uh, well, they, this is a mercury recoil. It's called a recoil reducer, and it goes into the stock, and trap shooters have been using it for decades. I think it's great. All right. Well, good. That's a great heads up. I appreciate that. Good idea. Let me, uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. I want to go to Bob. Line one, Fresno, California. Hello, Bob. Listen, Tom, I got a question about uh, the, the proper caliber to use for uh, self-defense. I'm kind of torn between the 357 Magnum, uh, the 40 caliber Smith and Wesson, and the 45 ACP. What would you recommend? I would recommend that you get one. Uh, oh. Seriously, there's absolutely zero difference between them in terms of stopping ability. All the stats say that there's uh, the difference is insignificant. You can't even measure it. And th- the main thing to understand is that with self defense with a handgun. It is unlikely that one hit is going to stop an attacker, even a good hit. Uh, Mike, and here's the thing. People say, well, that'll kill him. Yes, it might. But that's not stopping him. So the deal is you need to stop him. So train, 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 shoot, 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 get him in the right place, use a good gun, use good ammo. Look, 357, 40, 45, 9 doesn't matter. What matters is that you have it with you and that you know how to shoot it, and that you understand that you shoot until the threat is gone, which means falls down, stops fighting, runs away, gives up, whatever. All right, get some training. This will all be covered in that. All right, don't go anywhere. If you'd like to join us for the after show, do that. Call me right now. It doesn't matter what your question is. It could be as goofy and crazy as, I mean, I don't care. We'll go almost anywhere. Call us, 866-HAWK-GUN, and you can be a part of the wacky circus we call the after show. In the meantime, do a little shooting this week, pick somebody with you, and by all means, watch those muzzles and be careful on the private and the public ranges.